Hello everybody, this is Alon Paul, and we are back in the saddle. We're going to do this again. We're going to see if we can't continue to find what we're looking for in regards to this. So, and find our ship. We need a ship. We need a ship. So I'm going to do this. I know the last episode was two hours. I'm going to go one more hour, and then I'm going to give it a rest. Because I need to take a break. I need to get something to eat. And then I can go from there. All right. So we've been heading in this direction towards the sunset over there. But it's not been working out for us very well. These ships are now giving us a new direction. And they're heading over this way now. So I don't know why. And I'm going to try to follow the ships. Maybe we'll be circling around a little bit. But we're going to head for that promontory next. And then climb it and take a look from there. It's getting nighttime, so we'll do what we can. And hopefully we can at least find ourselves a building or something. Because this is getting maddening. We're doing pretty good. We're just keeping alive. We got ourselves a shield now for the heat protection. Um, we found phosphorus to recharge said shield, so we're in good shape there. We don't even need the sodium anymore. I mean, really. This is really great stuff. But we can't find anything. I have found, I think, a total of two buildings completely so far. And we keep trying to, you know, look for stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get this because I could really use it. charge our mining beam. Uh, where is it? There you go. And we will use that. Yeah, we got too much condensed carbon now, so we're going to hold off on that. And our life support's going down a little bit. We'll bring that back up. That guy's heading in that direction. We'll start heading in that direction, and we'll take a look around as we go, because maybe we'll get fortunate and find another building or something. A crashed ship, anything. This no HUD. Oof. Tell you what, man. It's tough. It's really tough. I said I was going to go up to the top of that. Let's go up to the top of that. Is that a uh, blue flower? Just a shiny landscape. There's the flower. weird. Ah, nighttime's a difficult time because you can't see the buildings sometimes. I know my hazard protection's dropped, but we're going to wait for the regular hazard. That, that is, my shield is falling off, but the, we're going to wait for hazard protection to drop off more so we can utilize our phosphorus as much as possible. Now, we're probably going to use the batteries next. I want to get rid of those. Here we go. Straight up and at them. Okay. And they are headed that way. After turning. And again, I don't see anything. <clears throat> a little bit low. We'll just go ahead and use that real quick. Uh, oh, we got a life support gel too. That's good. It's 
sometimes the buildings will show up differently with this. Well, hello. Guess what we're going to be able to do? We're going to get ourselves a new multi-tool and shut down the sentinels. And we don't have to have them bugging us anymore. At least for the next couple of hours. Wow, talk about fortuitous events. Let's head straight to that. Don't want to ignore it. They won't attack us when we get there, and we should just be able to shut them down. Plus, we can get some upgrades from... Possibly some upgrades from whatever drops out of the uh, Sentinels that die. Okay, I know it was over here. You guys saw it too, didn't you? that far away. Oh, come on. I know I was heading straight for it. Alright, maybe it's over this rise. Okay, good. Wasn't going crazy. Nice. We'll be able to shut down the Sentinels. We can get a multi-tool from this. Awesomeness. This is really good stuff. Life support's really low. Alright, where's my oxygen? Oh, actually, let's use you first. Good. Yep. Nope. We may come over here and use it again just to save our position. Alright, so what do we got? We got a sentinel there, we got him there. They will kick the ever-living crap out of us. We're not going to mess with this. Uh, we are going to shut down the Sentinel forces. There we go. Done. What kind of weapon we get? Uh, let's see. It's got a bolt caster on it and a shield. We've got our mining beam, scanner, analysis visor. The only thing we don't have is the other piece... We have no upgrades that we need to worry about, and ionized cobalt we can get. Can't get any of those. So, with ionized cobalt, wiring loom we can't get. So, the only thing we can do is if we can, if we can open this one up, we can throw our mining beam in there and get more stuff. I say we get it. Let's just take it. And we'll have to exit this. Hold on. got really stuck here. We can't move. It's supposed to bring us back into the menu. And you know what's going to happen if we reload? All the sentinels are going to pop back up.
Let's see if that works. That's all we got out of this. Yeah, let's see. This is worth some money, but not really worth enough to make it a difference. Same thing with you. <coughs> let's see if it'll let us do anything. We can't do anything. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Yeah, we've really got messed up here. So it'll bring us back to the restore point. Let's give it a shot. This is the one we want. Let's go ahead and do it. Wow, that doesn't happen very often that these problems occur. It's crazy. I don't even know what to say. Okay. So everybody should be back, right? There he is. And we have to turn off our... See, we're getting these... we got to make sure that this is turned off. Okay. Okay, so there he is. Where's the other guy? See what happens. Watch this. <laughs> now I want to see if that worked. I'm going to extract the weapon. And let's see if it'll give us our. Okay, I think we might have found ourselves a pretty heavy glitch here that we cannot take the multi-tool unless our HUD is on? Maybe try something here. I have to try it. I'm sorry, folks. Hold on. Yeah, that's what it is. You can't do it with the HUD off. I don't need that. Sorry. Yeah, whatever. Come on. Get out of there. Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so immediately we're going to go back in here and get rid of the HUD. Okay, that was crazy. Alright. And we should have a few of those floating around. I think. Of course, now I can't find any of them, right? Yeah, that's okay. I know it's been quiet because I've lost some of the sentinel drops. So that's the only thing I didn't get, is I didn't get a sentinel drop. I got one, which is probably going to let us leave us with one glass and a sentinel boundary map that's kind of useless to me. So, yeah. We don't need that. We need some ionized cobalt, which we're going to get in the cave. Well, that stinks. That's just plain rude. Yeah, all right. So we're heading in the general direction that we were going to head in anyway. I can only see one. Oh, there it is. Okay. And her voice will stop soon. We'll go ahead and use the last two. So we're going to 
to repair this. Now, one thing we need to do, um, switch over to our other multi-tool real quick. And we're going to pull this off of here. So this will be store the technology. Do we need anything else off of here? We shouldn't. And then what we're going to do then is switch back. And we will install this kind of over here. So now that we have that, the only thing we need to do is repair that. And we'll move our mining beam over there. So. Okay. So we'll need to find a cave at some point and get some more stuff. I need that. focus. I mean, we've killed off, off the Sentinels. The Sentinels are not going to be an issue anymore. For a while, anyway. Usually for a few hours or a few days, as the case may be. Oops. Okay. Ow. Now I can only rely on myself to, to hurt myself at this point. Yep. That means something broke, I think. No? Alright. Go ahead and do this real quick. We need some silicone to charge this sucker up because it gave us zero charge for some stupid reason. too many times. Okay, well, pretty good. We're now at a point where we're not even sure what direction we're heading in anymore. We're trying to find anything ship would be great. Probably not going to find it. I'm not going to look for it that time. We need the money, I know. But we have a better chance of finding a crash ship at this point than we will a landing facility. Trading outpost, if you will. It's nice to not have anything attacking me every time I break a rock. 
do have to admit. Sweet. What I may do is I may pause here for a couple of moments. Because I do hear car doors this time, and I believe they are our car doors. To the left again, huh? I swear I think we're going around in circles. were for us. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and we will come back in just a moment. And the way we do that is by going in here. It should arrest everything. And the only way to tell is by checking our charge on everything. Yep, you can see everything's stationary. So we will wait here. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, and we're back. Let's see what we can find. We gotta find something around here. Hate to waste all that time, because that's time spent without. A sentinel bothering us, but you know, got to do what you got to do. Let's see. Okay. Huh, didn't break my ankle that time. What do you know? Something must be wrong. <laughs> So now we're kind of kind of going in, I guess, random directions. Again, we're in danger of, you know, crossing over terrain I've already been in. But we've got to be able to find something at this point. seeing it. Either it's really buried. Or it's just really buried and I'm still never going to find it. Alright, I'm going to give up. It's probably dip buried quite deep. Let's see here. Do we have any... No, we don't. There. Fully charged, right? Again, we gotta find ourselves a cave. Cave or a 
Broken ship. How's that? Still dropping, even though we're in a cave. Good. Now, let's see. We need 25 ionized cobalt. I know we get it some from this, but not a lot. ferrite out of that. That's interesting. Oh, we did get some ionized. Okay, well that's good. Let's go over here. We should be able to repair this now. So that leaves that open. We're going to move our mining beam into there. Uh, we will never get ammonia or your uranium. Or a wiring loom, but we can get some more ionized cobalt and open up one more slot. Two. Two more slots on this. How much uh, ferret do I have? Not a lot. So I need, I would like to get some more of that, but you're about useless to me at this point, the pure ferrite. So we're going to go with you like that. Now let's see. Do we get 25 more? 53. That will get us our both our slots open. So that'll get you open. And you. Okay. So that's all the damage that we can uh, unfortunately open up here. So. But still, not bad. Not bad at all. And it's supercharged. Excellent. We're in good shape. Everything's good down here. We don't really need it. We're going to go ahead and get rid of it. We're going to get rid of this. We do need some more ferrite. We'll get that as we go. We'll keep some cobalt around just in case. Okay. Let's proceed. Alright. And I have no idea which way to go. I guess we'll go this way. And I'm going to let that fall for a little while. I need 50 of this to make some more projectiles. I do kind of need at least an additional 75, so we're going to try to gather up some more as we go. And the 75 is in case we damage our exosuit technologies. So we got the 75, we need 50 more. good. Okay, so we got plenty of that. Let's just get five more. There we go. We're good. Good carry on. Now again, we're going to keep our eyes peeled. We want to look for... Well, we really want to find a crash ship if we can. Sooner or later, the voice will end now that the HUD's back off again. Oh, I would really like.
to find a crash ship. I know. Wow, really? Three flowers right next to each other. Perfect line. Good job. Yeah, it's a good long distance anyway. Just hopefully we didn't miss anything. Okay, life support. Watch for oxygen. All right. How far are we now? 30 minutes. Again, we're only going to give this about an hour. We still haven't found anything. We're going to hold off. Nothing's damaged. There we go. I felt like it. Just can't rely on finding the oxygen that we need. So. Just do the best we can. Buildings. I should really get up to one of the high points again and see if we can find anything. Because there's got to be something out here. And it's just about nighttime anyway, so I have to contend with that again. Oh, looks like we have some unburied technology. Huh. Launch fuel. Just what we don't need. So it is nighttime. I saw a smoke, and I was thinking. <gasps> And then I realized it was not. Not a ship. Yeah, we need to get up to a high point. I think it's time. He annoyed me. He needed to go. He 
keep your eyes peeled. Which way, guys? Show me the way. Left again, huh? Great if you guys would like start circling or something. Oh, hey, ooh, aha, an archive. Ooh, good things, good things. We found ourselves an archive. We are 36 minutes into this episode and we found ourselves an archive. Alright, well that's good. Now we definitely can't get the haulers, and we don't have enough money to get really anything, but at least we have a, a point. So, can we? Yes, we can. We can set the waypoint here. Basically, this is a matter of selling everything you can in your inventory to get what you need. Life support. We're going to use a gel. Okay. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. This is very good news. Now, only problem, again, I don't have a lot of money. I'm not even going to bother with the hauler. I already know that's way too expensive for me. Is it still going down? Nope. Paused. Okay. Let's go to the trade terminal, sell some stuff. Let's see, what do we want to sell? We had that much salvage data. Alright, well, that's good. Hydrogen, oxygen, uh, navigation data, okay. We'll get rid of all steak, I don't think we need any more Vicene effigy. The chlorine, we're definitely going to get rid of. And that's pretty much it. Central boundary map, we can't really use it, so we'll sell it. We can turn the cobalt into ionized cobalt if we make ourselves a metal plate and start processing stuff. And I think that's going to be the best way to go at this point. we got to come up with about 4 million at the very least. So let's make a metal plate. And this guy. So we're going to go ahead and do cobalt. We need... Yeah, definitely. Let it roll. Alright. So we know that we can find a ship for about 5.7 mil. Let's we'll see what this guy wants to sell his ship for. Get around it and find him. There he is. How come I can't? There we go. Let's see what your ship is going for, my friend. Wow. 12 mil. You are way overpriced. You should be ashamed of yourself. ourselves an archive. This is great news, like I said. So, we just need to figure out if we can ever buy one of these ships. Uh, let's see. 
10 million for yours, huh? Is that? There is literally a tree growing right through the landing pad of this one. Ah. Well, these guys. How much this one goes for? Oh, two. C class. Let's see, if I could exchange it, but I need 6.7 million. All right. And what about you? I mean, if we can go for Rinky Dink. It's B class, so yeah, nine million. All right. Okay, so we got ionized cobalt. Is there anything else we want to sell? Carbon's worth that much. Dense carbon is worth 24 units each, 12 units each, okay. 12, 41, 34, 14. Just want to see what things are worth. Let's see if there's any in the inventory of this thing we can purchase. Uh, let's see. No. There is not. Okay, so this seems to be a very cheap planet. So what we want to do is we want to find ourselves a cave. Looks like this one over there. There will usually be caves nearby these things. That might just be a shadow. start extracting cobalt. So this is going to be boring. Okay? This cobalt we don't get a lot of money for. We'd really be better off if we could find some buried technology. But, you know we're not going to find any buried technology because we don't have a map to look for buried technology. Alright, found ourselves a cave. Let's go ahead and dig in here, and we're going to start pulling out cobalt. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here, and we'll pick up in a little bit. Okay, and we're finally back. It's literally been hours. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I have beggared myself and sold everything out of my cargo, and I've got so much materials. Uh, I'm at 5.15 million at this point. It should be enough to buy the cheapest ship that they can possibly land on this platform. Um, it's funny, because while I was here, an S-Class exotic landed here, too. I wish I would have gotten a screenshot of it. Um, I'm just waiting on somebody to land with a cheap enough ship. If they have a ship that's worth 5 mil or less, then I've, I'm done. And it's definitely not going to be a hauler. That might be a contender down there. I left myself with just enough materials just in case something happens. Yeah, see, these are, these are all haulers. I can't get any of those. Let's see what this guy wants. Of course. Ah, this might be it. Ah, uh, life shit. Please, 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 please. Ah. And the challenge is over. We're in our ship. Holy mackerel. That did it. And we even had a little bit of money left over to spare. Yeah, you can hear the despondency in my voice. Finding a crashed ship would be the best option across the board, 100%. But finding these ships like this... Uh, at a trading platform, or in this case, an archive. Unreal. And unless you've been picking up stuff along the way and getting a lot of money along the way. Yeah, that 
was torture. I can't even begin to tell you how long it took to get this done. Um, this save is getting deleted. We're going to call this a win. Um, holy mackerel. And there we go. We saved it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to call it. I'm going to go get do something. So take care. Thank you for watching. Never criticize kindness. Always be truthful in all things, especially to yourself. Thank you again for watching. Take care, everyone.